answer this question for me. What's your favorite genre of music? That's probably pretty easy. Whether it's rock or hip-hop, you must like the way it sounds or the way it makes you feel. But now tell me this. Describe your favorite genre of music. And tell me what makes it different from other genres of music. This question is a lot harder to answer. Is it the instruments that they use? The rhythm of the music? The key signatures? This question is difficult enough for humans to answer that oftentimes people will hear the same song and not agree whether it's more country or rock. So how can we teach a computer to not only find what matters when determining genre, but also to classify music accordingly? The field of music analysis is extremely active right now with programmers trying to solve questions like what constitutes music and how can we teach a computer how to make music? Yet, genre classification, another music analysis problem, is still yet to be understood. We have many useful softwares out there built on music analysis, such as Soundhound to Shazam, yet even these programs don't classify a song's genre immediately. Instead, they determine what song is playing, and then look up the genre of the song based on already existing human-labeled databases. In short, there still is no direct way to accurately analyze a song, and from that, information determines the genre. So, how do I go about solving this problem? Let's go into my approach for genre analysis. I used a music creation and analysis library for Python called Music21, coded by some people at MIT. With this library, I was able to find out many things about a song, such as the key signature, the time signature, the notes in the song, the instruments played, and much other information. My plan was to just look at every possible feature of the music I could and extract all the information there was from each song, determining later what the most important data was. The data set that I used was compiled by a Reddit user named Midiman, containing about 130,000 MIDI files from various genres and locations, all labeled by genre, artist, and title. After running my feature extraction code over a few thousand MIDI files and putting all the data into external CSVs, I would then use the libsvm Python library to do multi-class SVM analysis on my data. After reading previous papers on the subject, such as Music Genre Analysis by Hagblade, Hong, and Kao, I determined that for optimal results, I should try to work with four largely different genres. I chose rap, rock, classical music, and jazz, and did two-step binary classification on the data. I split the approximately 10,000 total files, 2,500 from each genre, into 70% training data and 30% testing data to validate my results. Now for the exciting part, my success rate, about 20%, which is actually really bad. To put it in perspective, if I was just guessing randomly, I would have a 1 in 4 chance of being correct, or at least 25%. I'll get into some reasons why I got such bad results. First, my data set. It had to be changed multiple times due to various issues. The original data set of about 100,000 files was actually not all labeled fully or in a way for the computer to easily process. With this issue, I had to find a simple and standardized data set of music. So I then tried to use the Marcias music collection. This collection has a total of 1,000 different songs from 10 different genres, which have been used in previous work on the topic. But those file formats weren't compatible with my existing code. I eventually personally scoured the internet for different MIDI files and compiled a dataset of 400 MIDI files, 100 for each genre, which brings me to my next problem. The genres that I used, while distinct, were often very broad. The features of two rock songs could vary drastically depending on factors like whether it's a rock song from the 1970s or the 2000s, or even the mood of the song. The data I'm using should have been more standardized and vetted more closely to create a training model that I can test other music on. However, in addition to problems inherent to the features, just getting the features was also a major issue because of lack of standardization. The personally gathered MIDI files weren't all analyzed the same way. The Music21 library is very powerful, but mainly for analyzing XML music files, which come with sheet music attached. 
when analyzing MIDI files, getting features like key signature or instruments used wasn't always as reliable, and as such, my data had many holes where not all songs had the same features. In small scale testing, I didn't notice this, as the songs I picked all had similar features, but as I moved to a larger data set, the holes started appearing more and more distinct. Some had instrument, key signature, and time signature, while others just had a collection of the notes used. As such, the SVM algorithm had a very hard time working with such limited data. Finally, speaking of features, I believe even if my data sets were more optimized and easy to extract features from, the features I was looking for in the first place wouldn't yield the best results. Looking at notes in a bag of words style method, or simply classifying based on common time signatures, just aren't distinct enough features for meaningful interpretation. These are common among many, many different genres, and don't provide a good enough difference point for the algorithm to do its work. If I was to work on this project more in the future, I would look into spectrum analysis and MFCC, or Mel Frequency Sepstrom Coefficient Analysis. These techniques are much more reliable for finding trends in music data over time as opposed to just at certain key frames like the Music 21 project does. However, I do feel some of these features have merit and are often overlooked in other projects on genre analysis, such as instrument choice. I would like to do this analysis again with a more full and standardized data set before doing MFCC analysis, and I would like to do principal component analysis on my findings to see exactly which features do affect my classifications in the long run, so that I can include these in a final analysis. Overall, I learned quite a bit in this project and in this class, and would like to continue working on this topic in the future. Now I realize exactly why a topic like genre analysis is still such a difficult problem to solve.